Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Naika. So today's video is going to be about uh, a update, the after the DNC, the after the um, um, healing process and transition after the DNC, and where I am one month after my surgery. So let's get started. All right, guys. So welcome back. Welcome back. Of course, thank you for always, you know, following me on this journey. Thank you for standing by my side. Thank you for, you know, just being that listening ear at all times. You know, we are all here for each other. I'm a listening ear for you guys, just like how you guys are a listening ear for me. And I really appreciate it. That's all we need is to support each other. So guys, so guys, I, like I said, and you guys probably seen this multiple times in my videos. I got to write stuff down some things i'm not gonna remember you know so um it's officially been a month after my surgery um just to let you guys know how i'm feeling internally um my body has you know my body's feeling good um i don't have any more um pregnancy symptoms um i'm actually feeling you know really recouped really ready to go um really ready to just you know thrive and be myself again and just you know keep that positive energy flowing um and my spirits is up there guys my spirits is up there i have embraced this journey i have accepted accepted this journey um it is not something that i've asked for not something that i wanted not something that i saw myself going through i could be a hundred percent honest with you there N absolutely not um no it's not i'm not gonna pretend that i'm not human and that i didn't ball my eyes out when it take came time you know to feel the hurt and the pain that comes with it i have but I gotta bounce right back and I gotta keep pushing and I gotta keep fighting. I gotta keep fighting guys and I can't give up. We can't give up, we can't give up. And if there's one thing I'm gonna empower you guys to do is don't give up. No matter how many times life knocks you down, get back up and keep going. No matter how many stumbling blocks that are in front of us, use it as our stepping stone. Okay, guys? Use it as your stepping stone. So that's the that's the best advice I can give you guys, you know. So it has been a month after my surgery. <sighs> okay. So a couple things that happened in the month. I got to look at my phone. I haven't bled since I stopped that, you know, the week after and everything. I haven't bled, so um, everything's supposed to be going in the right direction. Um, my, I am continuing my prenatal vitamins, so I haven't stopped taking those. I continue to take those um, every single day. I don't stop. Um, just because, you know, you want to continue keeping your body prepped and everything like that, you know. Um, also what you call it i haven't started back my bromocryptine so you guys know that i was taking bromocryptine um before i got pregnant last time um because my prolactin levels were um extremely high when i wasn't pregnant so the reason why i haven't started back taking my bromocryptine is because i still have hgz in my system so i went to get blood work and it's been a month it's officially been a month but i went to get blood work on february um 20 oh my god February 20, what day is that? Oh, I went to get blood work on February 18th. Um, it's probably dry by now, hopefully, we'll see. Um, you guys will probably get that in my next update because I haven't gone yet. Um, my appointment is March 4th or something like that. So um, yeah, so I went and got my blood work on February 18th and my HDD levels was a 299. So it went from a 3200 from the last update you guys saw to now a 299 two weeks later. So it's creeping down there. It's just taking a sweet time. Um, you know, at this point, I'm just like, hurry up. <laughs> You know, um, at this point, I know I'm not pregnant anymore. You can just, you can be gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to move on in that kind of way from the levels, from the levels, not from you know my 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 precious baby, but from the levels. You know, um, but you know it's still 2.99. It's still in my system. It's still in my blood. I'm like, I'm giving you exit notice. You know, I'm 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 ready for the next step. You know cahoots <laughs> you know so um 
yes so it's still there um so i'll let you guys know you know what is going on there i actually did end up because i'm having this widespread muscle pain that like was driving me crazy i was getting like head congestion and stuff like that and i was like what the hell is going on my shoulder was hurting me and everything like that and i actually ended up having to go to the er and they gave me like a um a flexor or like a shot for to for muscle pain it was like which works a lot faster and that helped tremendously that really helped um so they end up giving me that and that helped a lot um but i did have to tell them because you know how in the er they like to test you to give you a urine test and they did have to test you to see if um you're pregnant by giving you a urine test so um i did have to tell them that i had a dnc and that i still have um hcc in my blood so if you try to do a urine test on me you will see that it is in there you know so yes i was like so i know i'm not pregnant so you can give me what you need to give me because i'm not you know so i had to let them know that you know so they were they was like well thank you for telling us and you know we're so sorry for your loss and everything like that so that way you know they they know that they can still give it to me knowing that i you know i'm not actually pregnant you know um so they were aware and understanding of that um I mean, guys, I mean, I would have went to my doctor, but one thing I don't like about going to my regular doctor is because of the simple fact that you got to make all of these different appointments. Um, you go see them and you got to go to a specialist and you got to go to this place. You got to wait. I'm, I, I just wanted to go to the ER, let them deal with it right away. And that was that. That's that's how my thought process is. I mean, agree to disagree. You know, I'd rather just feel do what you need to do to help me feel better quick, <laughs> you know what you call it but i did want to share you guys because this is actually going to be a really quick video um i did want to share something with you guys that i've actually um ordered and yes i'm taking my prenatal vitamins but i'm also a tea person so i wanted to share with you guys something that i ordered that um i'm starting to drink that i didn't do it before in my prior um pregnancies but i saw it and i said you know what and it is by um i'm as you guys know, um, I'm a little bit I'm religious, um, spiritual. So I wanted to, this is by a company called Pink Stork and it is called a Pink Stork Fertility Tea. So it's 100% organic and non-GMO and is a whole leaf tea. So it has organic peppermint, organic chastity tree berries, which is a fruit, um, organic red, red raspberry leaf, organic stinging nest, nestle, organic stevia, organic passion flower, organic lady, ladies mantle. So raspberry especially is really good when it comes to fertility. I actually, um, I actually bought this. this is not for during pregnancy. This is like to help you conceive. So um, even though I'm going through IVF, it is nothing wrong with you prepping your body to make sure that your body's ready for when the next time coming. I actually got two packs of this. Um, it comes with 15 tea bags. Each tea bag can give you two full cups of teas. I'm not a reuser of tea bags. Don't fault me for it, guys. Um, I rather just use one tea bag for one cup. So I end up buying two bags. So I have 30. Um, it says one a day. I probably do one every other day, depending on how I feel. I like to mix it up. I, like to mix. I have other teas that I like too. <laughs> but yes, I do this. Um, I do drink this. I'm trying to stay consistent with it, guys. Hopefully that it helps. I also got one for my husband. His is all this is also men's fertility, and it has similar leaves in it, but his has peppermint. Fengu Greek seed, green tea, ginkgo biloba, wild yam, turmeric, salt palmito, American ginseng. Oh, ginseng. Mm -hmm. Ginseng is good. Organic maca and organic triblis. I have, I, I just, we recently just got it. I opened mine and I tried it. I just got my husband's. He hasn't tried it yet. Um, he should be trying it soon so next update next video i'm probably gonna be telling you guys okay how's he doing with this tea because <laughs> he looked at it like what is that <laughs> what do you want me to drink <laughs> you know so setting it up setting it up you know so let us both get ready let's get prepped even though he don't, i don't need him right now <laughs> but i'm getting him prepped okay <laughs> I need to do another retrieval, which is maybe in the works in the future. I got three embryos left. Um, I thought about it. We'll see. Mm. Um, you know, if I need him, you know, do your magic. Get them going. <laughs> 
you know so i have that and i also got one thing and i realized i didn't even bring it with me hold on guys i also got me some fertility sweets now guys i'm gonna tell you something about me i'm a sweet tooth now i'm not i mean my husband might go figure he might um agree to disagree with the statement because i said i'm not a crazy sweet tooth but i do like sweets um so the fact that they pop that in fertility pill fertility um I, in this company and this is what drew me to the company in the first place the fertility sweets then i saw the tea so this was first <laughs> this was first so like it's the company is called pink stork and they have fertility sweets and it is a strawberry pomegranate flavor it does taste good oh my goodness i love it i mean it's three it, it really is you have to you take one piece one to four times daily so it is nut free soy free gluten free i like that about it um what you call it it is tastes so good um i'm not gonna lie i love it it is organic king sugar organic brown rice syrup natural strawberry flavor natural pomegranate flavor so that's exactly what it is and it's like these little cute little packages these little cute little packagings of sweets um i have like three or four of them a day um i like eating them um so sometimes i don't feel too bad for not drinking the tea because i get the sources i need from this and my pre prenatal vitamins so my body is pumping my body's it's doing its thing so i got my fertility sweets and i have three packs of these so i'm on only on i'm still on pack one but i got three packs and it comes with um it comes with 30 lozenges so i have i bought 90 in total because i know myself and when it comes to sweets <laughs> and being that is to help with fertility come on guys you put sweets in fertility i mean who's gonna say no you know so yeah um well i mean i'm not gonna say no <laughs> so yeah guys so i just wanted to kind of like let you guys know what i've been indulging on um so if you guys i'm gonna drop their link to their website in the description so if you guys are interested in um purchasing a pack of lozenges you know or sweet mint tea it's actually not bad the teas actually taste good i'm so curious to what my husband gotta say about this one so i will keep me post keep updated on the next video on what my husband gotta say about this i'm trying to get him to try it i mean it just came here i did mine first when i saw i was like oh i contemplated for a little bit and then i asked him and he looked at me like i was crazy <laughs> and then you know i so i still bought it anyway <laughs> you know but yeah don't laugh at me but yeah so that's my update guys just to let you guys know i am in good spirits i'm a i'm a go-getter i'm not gonna give up my time is coming it's coming guys um but thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in you guys uh have been um the best support system uh sister can ask for you know um but stay tuned for more updates i'm gonna try to keep you guys updated on how i'm doing month to month what are the next steps and things like that right now i'm just trying to get these levels down right trying to get these levels down and then we see where we go from there if we're gonna start my bromocryptine all that stuff like that so i'll let you guys know that in the next video i'll have the results on my next blood work and what i'm doing from there if i'm starting anything or whatever all right so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for like i said for being my support system you guys are the best love you guys and of course don't i just realized that i'm saying bye to you guys of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so that way you guys know anytime i post another video and i will be letting you guys know at the end of this video exactly when the next video will be all right bye guys <laughs>